So in this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve a circuit problem such as this. Now we are asked to find the equivalent capacitance of this particular connection. First things first, you have to identify the circuit element. In this case, when you have something of this nature, this, right, two bars of the same height, when you have this, this is actually called, this is the circuit symbol for a capacitor. Right, so if you have this in a circuit, it means capacitor, right? Um, note that if one of them is longer than the other here, what you have there is actually a battery, all right? This is actually a battery or a cell. So please differentiate between a capacitor and a battery or a cell, right? For a battery or a cell, one of the bars is longer than the other one, while for a capacitor, they are of equal length, all right? With that being said, of course, you can also note it using the what the unit, right? Capacitor is measure is used to uh, measure capacitance, which is stored in F farad. Okay, so the F here means farad. All right. So with that said, you have to find the equivalent capacitance of this connection. What do you do now? The the first thing to note is that these two here are connected in parallel. We'll be using a circuit reduction technique. That means we'll resolve this until we have our equivalent. And for this question here, you have to start with these two here. These two are connected in parallel. All right. Um, we'll now resolve these two in parallel. Now, when two cap one, when two or more capacitors are connected in parallel, all you have to do to find the equivalent is to add them up um, straight up, right? So just add them up. That means for these two here, I'll just add them. So the equivalent of these two capacitors would just be 2 microfarad plus 2 microfarad. So if I do that, I'll have that for these two, if they combine, the equivalent becomes, or better still, let's call this, um, let's call this C1, perhaps. Let's call this C2, and let's call this C3. Now, if I want to resolve C2 and C3, I'll have that the equivalent of capacitance for the capacitor C2 and C3 becomes C23, C23 is equal to C2 plus C3. C2 is 2 microfarad plus C3 is 2 microfarad. 2 microfarad plus 2 microfarad gives you 4 microfarad, of course, all in microfarad. Now, this 2 has been resolved to give you 4 microfarad. They become 1, all right? So if I resolve these two capacitors, they become 1. And that one will be in a straight line with C1. In essence, I'll have something that looks like this. I would have my circuit as being equal to, um, I'll take this off here, right? Okay, so I'll have this, perhaps I'll have this. So this one here, I'll now have this one here, and then connected to here, this still remains my C1, has been 4 microfarad. I've combined C2 and C3 in parallel, and I have my answer as C23, whose value we had was 4 microfarad. All right, so with this, of course, there's this part here. Let me connect this. My final task now be, if you observe this, the equivalent of C2 and C3, which is C23, is in series, right? End to end, we see one. And whenever capacitors are in series, to get the equivalent, we'll take the inverse, right? So we have to sum the inverse of each of this. And by that, I mean that the equivalent of C1 and then C2, C3 becomes 1 all over CEQ. All right, so take inverse whenever they are in series. So this will be equal to 1 all over this one here, the equivalent of C2 and C3 plus 1 all over this one here, C1. All right. So with this said, let's impute value and see what we get. So if I impute values, I have 1 all over CEQ as being equal to 1 over C23. We had the value as 4 microfarad. So ignoring the microfarad, let's just take the value there. 4 plus 1 all over C1, the value was also 4. So we had 4 here. Let's get this done. This will be equal to, of course, whenever you have two terms of the same denominator, 
just add the numerator. So it becomes same denominator, it becomes one plus one, that becomes two all over. Same denominator is repeated. Alright? Just add numerator and repeat this. So I have that one all over C E Q is equal to to lowest term here, two gives you one, two gives you two. I have one over two. To get the value of the equivalent, all you have to do here is to invert. Take this upside down. I have C E Q all over one is equal to take this upside down, it becomes two over one. That means from here, C E Q that the equivalent capacitance is equal to two. Don't forget that the unit is microfarad. So basically, this is how we solve this question. All right. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, right? Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to your friends so that they can also learn and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you and see you in the next class.